Hello everybody. My name is Manu Sherdegati. I'm a photojournalist uh, for many years. Uh, actually, today is Nowruz. Nowruz is the Iranian new, new Year. It means New Year. And actually, it's the first day of uh, spring. Uh, this festivity is important because it is sent to celebrate end of the uh, winter, the cold and darkness, and going toward uh, light, let's say. Um, we are living in difficult times. Uh, we are, most of us are sitting at home, waiting uh, to see how things go. So, in my life, I always use the difficult times and experiences in a positive way. I think this is also for everybody the best time to use their time for the things that they were always taking to do. They didn't have time to spend time with family, give love to your family more than ever because before we were all busy with work, doing this and that, and, and always wish to do uh, many things that uh, this is the good time to do now. So I've decided to share my experience and witnessing the history all over the world with you. Starting with a series of uh, stories uh, and photo with, through photography that I've uh, been through. Well, my first experience, uh, actually I was, uh, uh, due to my interest and love to Italian uh, cinema, after I finished my high school in Iran, I went to Italy, to Rome, and studied cinematography. While I was a student in the late 70s, uh, this news started to come from Iran about uh, demonstrations of people. Then uh, I was also interested as a young student uh, to know what is going on, what is all this demonstration. So I find out that uh, these uh, demonstrations were uh, started by intellectuals and mainly students who wanted more freedom, more democracy, because the regime of the Shah of Iran was a dictatorship also. Iranians were very well in terms of economy. The country was blooming, was... Uh, you know, everybody was working, uh, petrol money was coming in, and it's been, uh, uh, um, it's been spent to Iranian infrastructure. They were building roads, universities, hospitals, uh, educating everybody. Anyway, uh, but there was no uh, freedom. There were, there were no... Uh, parties, every, everything was forbidden, they, and there were a lot of uh, political prisoners in Iran, which a lot, most of them were being uh, tortured or also executed. Anyways, I, I, I had a camera uh, because I used to take pictures also. Uh, I arrived to Iran, I remember in the night, during the summer holidays. And uh, the first thing I, I, I did, I took my camera and I went out. There I saw in the streets people demonstrating, uh, chanting anti-Shah slogans, and they start attacking the uh, government institutes, the banks, even they started to uh, f put fire on buses or banks all over. So I start to take pictures and I remember my first experience was incredible because uh, we were in a street and suddenly I see people are disappearing around me and I have no idea what is going on and I hear a sound of a truck behind me and I turn around, I see this uh, truck full of soldiers who are coming uh, toward me in the uh, street. And I see uh, what I could do, I had no place to, to hide. 
So I went against the, the, a wall, stood, and this truck came full of soldiers, and one of them looked at me, and I had my camera hanging on, on my neck, and he aimed with his gun on me, and he shot a rifle on the wall. But fortunately, none of them uh, hit me. But I, because of fear, I sit down, and, and after the truck has gone, people came to see, ah, uh, there is a shaheed, there is a martyr, because they thought I would be shot. But I stood up and uh, cleaned up the debris of the, the ball was falling on me. And uh, uh, actually what I think this, what happened that day made me to decide to be a photojournalist because I saw that uh, soldier who saw my camera and shot at me. So I, I thought this is a good tool. I think this is a thing that can help uh, and inform other people. So that's why I think I became a photojournalist. And I continued to photograph the event. Um, they were <coughs> actually, uh, you see this picture, a woman raising fe uh, feast on the air, and uh, the, the participation of, of women was very important in this uh, uh, revolution at the beginning. Uh, everybody was out, children, elderly, uh, because they thought uh, they can change their life to better. And then there was the big demonstration uh, of the leftist parties. As you can see in this picture, this is the uh, Shahyad Square in Tehran, which is filled with thousands and thousands of demonstrators and uh, uh, from the left parties, and the child holding a slogan. Uh, uh, this shows how everybody was participating in this movement. Then, in this picture, you can see also uh, a man in front of a, a group of veiled women who were also demonstrating against Shah, but also shows how uh, Iranian uh, society was uh, uh, dominated by religion, because this woman who, who have black veil they are certainly uh, religious uh, people. In this picture, you can see uh, demonstrators carrying a soldier in their uh, shoulder. This was the day that uh, we can say the revolution won. This is when the Shah of Iran ran away, escaped, and paved the way for uh, Khomeini to return to Iran. In the next video, I'm going to talk about how this revolution, which at the beginning was uh, where people were asking for democracy, was confiscated by fundamentalist uh, mullahs, and it, they turned it to an Islamic revolution. They have been ruling uh, for 41 years, and the Iranians are suffering from the whole situation.